In this episode of Just Learn It, uh, I'm going to talk to you about web development work and how you can do web development as a freelancer. So in this episode, you'll learn what web development is, whether it's for you, and how you can get started with it. So first of all, what is web development? So web development is creating the back-end systems for a website. So what we mean by the back-end systems, are these are the technical features and the functionality of a website not the design. This, this, this doesn't include the design of a website. So if you're thinking like of a, of a cell phone, um, the development is everything that's inside, everything that people cannot see, that goes into the development. So if you're a web developer, you're not going to be working on how the website looks. You're not going to be working on that. What you'd be working is the, what happens behind the scenes on the website, like how it functions, um, the the features, whether there's it, it has e-commerce and products, it forums, whether it has um, a lot of additional things that you can do on the website. That's web development. Okay, design is different. Web design is just how how beautiful the website is, but web development doesn't care about not so much. It doesn't care so much about the design. It cares about the functions of the website. So, but both are important, of course. I have a video about web design versus web development. Um, I'm going to put it in the links below as well so you can watch that. Now, why do companies hire web developers? Because clients, usually they can't create complex websites on their own. It's hard. It's, it requires very technical skills. Um, a lot of clients can use templates. They can create simple websites. If it's just, you know, some pages, a blog, and that's it, they can create it themselves or they can get a web designer to help them with it. But clients need web developers for more complex kinds of sites. Like um, Facebook requires many developers. It requires hundreds of developers uh, because it's not a normal website. It's not just some pages and a blog. It's people interacting. There's a community, people commenting, and so on. So more complicated websites do need developers. So why would you do de web development? Be well, first of all, demand is very, very high because companies are becoming more and more um, advanced in their technology. The, the, the demand for web development will keep on growing. There, is, there are not enough web developers right now, so it pays very well if you're good at web development. You can earn a lot of money. This is one of the, the skills that if you're good at it, you can become rich. Um, even though there are lots of people interested in it, in it few are good at it. Um, so a lot of people want to do web development, but not many people are good at it because it's, it's not very easy. It's challenging as technology is constantly changing. So um, what you learned six months ago Today is no longer applicable because technology is always changing. Just like with cell phones, every year the, the old one gets outdated, the new one is in. Um, it's like that with technology as well. With websites, the old one, like one year later or six months later, it gets outdated and new technology comes in. Um, so it's constantly changing. Why would you not do web development? Well, web development is not something you can learn overnight. It's complicated. It takes months or years to learn. So compared to these other skills like um, virtual assistant, I have a tutorial for virtual assistant skills. It can take like a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but web development can take six months, two years, three years just to learn web development. So it's, it's hard to learn it. Um, and it requires a lot of analysis and strategy. So if you're not very analytical, then this might not be the right field for you. Um, not everyone can do it. So it's, it's hard. Like I said, a lot of people want to do it, but not very many people are good at it. And it requires you to keep learning new things. So you have to learn all the changes, all the new skills when it comes to web development. Now, what skills do you need to get started in web development? So even if you don't know how to do web development yet or any programming languages yet, um, you need to have good analytical and computation skills. Because if you have these skills, then it's easy for you to understand programming languages, especially if you understand systems. If you understand how different systems and flowcharts work, you, can, you may be able to succeed in web development. 
also technical skills are important. You have to be good with computers um, to be a good web developer. If you're not good at computers, this is not the right field for you. What tools do you need? Um, you need a computer, you need internet, and you need a text editor. That's it. Uh, you don't need fancy tools, you don't need fancy software. Web developers type in code. They, they, can, they can just write text and it's all code. Um, and that's all they need. They don't need fancy tools or fancy software to do that. They, they type in another language. Um, that's what web developers do. So who should do web development? There should be do there, but who should do web development? Those who love computers, those who are great at math, algebra and statistics, um, and those who are more technical than creative. If you're, if you're a very technical person, web development may be the right field for you. Where can you learn more about web development? Well, I don't teach web development. That's not my specialty. But you can go to codecademy.com, start learning the different programming languages for web development. Um, and you can, once you start from there, you can learn, you can apply your skills um, in different areas. And then you can look for jobs on different websites such as Upwork, Freelancer, Online Jobs, Fiverr, Guru, or Hubstaff Talent. Okay, um, what else would you like to learn about more? So we just talked about web, develop, web development. We can talk about more things. So tell me what would you like to learn about more? And if you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you for staying, and I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please share this if you found this useful. I'll talk to you later.